welcome to Mrs. Brown's boy. She's Mrs. Brown. That's Mrs. Brown. I don't know what's wrong with you, Doug. This is good quality food. There's dogs all over the world to be delighted with this. Spartacus still not eaten. Not a bit. Sugar. What? Sprinkle a bit of sugar over it. It'll entice the dog to eat. I read it somewhere. Oh. Spartacus, now look. Sugar. Pretend to eat it, Agnes. What? <laughs> if you pretend to eat it, the dog will get jealous. Very protective of their dinners, dogs are. Sparty is, I'm going to eat this now. Look. <laughs> Agnes, like a dog. Here, put it on the floor and I'll show you. <laughs> Here, Spartacus. Come on, darling, look what I have. Come on, Spartacus, look. Look, 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 look. No, Winnie, no, Winnie, Winnie, no, no. She, go, she goes in sideways. All right. right and then, no, 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 no. Come on, Spartacus, <laughs> pet. Come on, Spartacus. Come on, Spartacus, come, come on. Look, this is lovely. Oh, yes, Spartacus. Come on, darling. Come on, Spartacus, come on. Come on. Your dinner's gone, it's gone. Mummy! When you're finished your breakfast, Professor Cloom would like to ask you some questions. I'm off. <laughs> yeah. Would you like a cup of tea? Well, that depends. Will you answer the questions the Professor wants to ask you for his book? As long as it doesn't take too long. Thank you, Mrs. Brown. I didn't say you could book a move in. Mummy. <laughs> Oh, no, what's that? Just a computer to record the interview. Oh, well, you see, there, there's a difference in the generations already, son. Computer. In my day, the only web we saw was one with a spider in it. Yeah, and if a man had a three-and-a-half-inch floppy, he kept it to himself. <laughs> now, listen, if it's going to take all this equipment, would we not be better doing it on another night? It is a bit cumbersome. I could come back later in the week, if you like. Uh, Wednesday night, would that suit? Yeah, that'll be fine, just not now. I'll walk you out to your car. Wednesday night, something to look forward to, Mrs. Brown? Oh, I'd be waiting a bated breath. <laughs> Hello. You just missed Cathy with the professor. There's something not right about him. I don't know what it is. My father used to say, if it grunts like a pig and walks like a pig, it's probably your mother. <laughs> Mommy, is me blouse on the clothesline? No. Why? Do you need it for tonight? Are you going on a date with Clown the Shrink? His name is Clune, Mummy. Thomas Clune, not Clown. And he's not a shrink. He's a psychiatrist. He's a fucking clown. <laughs> well, I find him interesting. And I find Mexican food interesting. But I wouldn't take me clothes off for it. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's something weird. I can't put me finger on it, but if I did, I'd have to wash me fucking hands. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> Here's Donatella. <laughs> Mammy, Spartacus looks a bit sluggish. I know. She caught something while the net it. Must have. I get her to the Blue Cross vet during the week. I'll take her tomorrow. Good boy. Huh? Look at you. I'd say that brings back memories. What? Do you not remember your turtle? Zip. Oh, God, yeah. Zip. <laughs> I forgot about him. Oh, Spartacus didn't like him? He did more than you think. <laughs> I remember now. Daddy gave him to a farmer. <laughs> well, not exactly. Spartacus killed her. <laughs> and we used to shell for nursery. <laughs> Shit happened, son. <laughs> that looks big and bulky. It is. Last day, thank God. Tomorrow I'm promoting Star Trek. Oh, it'd be nice to see you coming out of your shell. <laughs> God, I remember the day Daddy brought her home. She was just a little puppy. Well, she's not a puppy anymore. I picked her name, you know. Spartacus. <laughs> That's right. Here, Spartacus. Good girl, Spartacus. Yeah, Rory. We get the point. That was 15 years ago. She's old and tired now. She can barely bark anymore. She just can't take any more, Captain. <laughs> well, putting her down, God, but that feels like murder. 
There was a young sailor who sat on the dock, shaking and waving his big hairy fist. <laughs> Cut your and still she blows. Thanks, Mummy. He had a nice boyfriend and he liked to hunt. <laughs> he sat by the river, eating the sandwiches. <laughs> I'm going to hang it on the line now. Right, she's gone. Now, the big question, who's going to tell Mammy? Well, not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. Well, not me. Not me. <laughs> she loves that dog. I killed that fucking dog. <laughs> Mammy needs to be told. No, not me. Come on, Mark. You know you're the best at talking to her. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. Poor Mammy. She'll be very upset. Mm. Is there not a home we could put her into? <laughs> then she could spend her last days with other old bitches. <laughs> well, I could ring around and check out a good home. But we have to do something, and soon. Maria's right. She's getting worse. I'm afraid to let her go near Bono. She keeps trying to lick him. I was watching her in the back garden last week. She was just pissing as she walked along. <laughs> and the worst thing was, she didn't even know it. <laughs> Look, she doesn't know where she is half the time. I think her mind is gone. Right then. It's agreed. She has to go. I'll tell her, but not yet. I'll give her a week or so. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay, Mammy? I never felt better in me fucking life. <laughs> right, what about the other thing? The birthday surprise? Shh. Will you shut up, Rory? He's going to give it away. Rory, the party is a secret. If I hear you let it out, I'll kill you. I'm only asking where we are, Honest. Well, I'll talk to Winnie and make sure she's everybody down in Foley's pub for about nine o'clock. But we do the surprise thing here, right? Right, but in the meantime, nobody mention our birthday. We'll all pretend we forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to go apartment hunting with Dino. I hope you have better luck than me and Maria. I'm sure they will. At least they're looking. It's not easy. The ones we like we can't afford, and all the rest of them are dumps. Still, it's great fun poking around in other people's places. <laughs> Does Mammy know you're moving out yet? Nah. I won't say Aunt and Uncle we have a place. Well, be prepared. She'll not be happy, Rory. I know. I'm not looking forward to telling her. Would you like me to tell her? Would you? No. <laughs> I'll get you water, love. Ah. Oh, Winnie. I passed Ms. Mrs. O'Brien on the way out. She said, hello, Mr. McEnroe. <laughs> She's on fucking drugs. Here, drink that, and I'll get you some tea. Winnie, me life fast before me eyes. <sighs> what were you doing, Agnes? Laps. Laps of the house. You kill yourself, you will. How many did you do? One. <laughs> You've gone mad, Agnes. Winnie, they're watching everything I do. The professor's writing things down. I have to prove that I'm mentally and physically fit. Oh, I don't know, Agnes. Here, I'll get you that tea. 
I'm grand. Well, I'll check in and see you later, all right? OK. Put that telly on, love. Where's the remote, Pat? She's down the arm of the chair. OK. Yeah. Ah, uh, no. No, you have to go under it. Go under it. Yeah, I have it, but... Ah, uh, shite! Did you drop it? No, me arm is stuck. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. On, on three. Okay. One, what? two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Mommy! Right. That's me warmed up for me jog. But, Mommy, the interview. I'm too busy. Winnie, mm. can you smell methylated spirits? Jesus, Agnes, I can barely spell my name. <laughs> I'm exhausted from that jogging today. Well, you're no Paula Radcliffe. <laughs> you should talk. I've seen you run. It's like watching a blind ferret in a minefield. <laughs> Minnie, get you another drink, will you? I can't get up. If I do, me ashes fall off. Right. <laughs> Look, Kathy, there's Winnie going to the bar. Now's your chance to nab on her own. It's right, Betty. Rory, with your mother there on her own, it, it might be a good idea to tell her that we're getting an apartment together. Do you want me to tell her? No. 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 All right, here goes. Good luck. He'll need it. He's so brave. <laughs> All right, son. Mammy, well, I have you on your own. Can I talk to you? Sure. Sit down. What is it? Mammy, I've been thinking. <laughs> what seldom is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Mammy, do you not think the house is a bit crowded? <laughs> so it's you. I thought it was going to be Mark. What? <laughs> Winnie. Yeah. Did anyone tell you about the party? No, what party? We're organising a surprise party for Mummy's birthday next week. Oh, Jesus, she'll be thrilled. Is there anything I can do to help? Well, actually, there is, Winnie. Can you arrange for all our friends from the bingo to be down here for about nine o'clock? I can. Well, we're going to surprise her at home first and then have the party here. Well, you leave everything to me, Cathy. I'll have everybody there. Ah, thanks, Winnie. And listen, not a word. Oh. No, Rory. <laughs> I don't think the house is crowded. I like the house exactly the way it is, thank you. No, I'm putting it wrong. Mammy, do you not think that no matter how comfortable you are at home, the time comes to leave? <laughs> no. Go somewhere new. No. And, Mammy, everybody else is gone. I don't care what everybody else is doing. I like my house exactly the way it is, thank you. And if it doesn't suit you, you can book and move out. Well, how did it go? I'm not sure. At first she wouldn't let me leave. Then I think she threw me out. <laughs> what was that all about? They're definitely putting me in a home. Who is? The family. I uh, know they're not. They are, Winnie. I hear them talking about it. And they're whispering. They think I don't see them, but I do. That'll be about the pa. <laughs> What? Nothing. You're imagining it. <laughs> maybe you're right. Maybe I'm losing me marbles. Mm. The psychiatrist. What? Cathy's boyfriend, the psychiatrist. He's not interviewing me for a book. He's testing me for the home. <laughs> oh, on, Agnes. I'll tell you now, Winnie, they'd have to drag me out of that house screaming. And I'm taking every strip of book and wallpaper with me. <laughs> well, now, here's the man that God forgot. How are you, Grandad? Were you out for your evening walk? Just up the graveyard. Ah, uh, who's dead? Oh, feck a lot of them. <laughs> Hello, son. Sit for a second. Is there something wrong? No, ma. I just wanted to ask you not to make any plans for Friday night. Friday night. We're all going to be here for a family meeting. Family meeting, is it? 
We need to discuss something. Do we? Make a decision. I see. Then we're gonna take you somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, but it's somewhere nice. Is it, though? <laughs> Mark, are you all together on this? Yes, ma. Every one of us. But you won't take me without a fight. You bastards. What? <laughs> Mommy, let me explain. No. I'm going out to feed the dog. I'm going, ma. Hi, Mark. Where's Mommy? Out the back, feeding Spartacus. Did you tell her about putting the dog in the home? Look, I prepared her. Kind of. She's in a very weird mood. I'm going. See ya. Mammy Thomas is here. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this, Thomas? I've tried working with my mother before, and she makes you feel like the patient. With respect, Kathy, I have a lot more experience of these matters than you have. OK. <laughs> Thomas. Hello, Mrs. Brown. Hello, Dr. Zhivago. <laughs> Mrs. Brown, I hope you're ready to answer those few questions that Kathy was telling you about. It's uh, research for my book. Yeah, research. For the book. <laughs> oh, yeah. Interview with Mrs. Agnes Brown. Female subject, aged... Over 21. <laughs> Do you mind if I stay? Sorry, what did you say? Do you mind, Do you mind if she stays? <laughs> no, Kathy, you, you sit there. Now, uh, Mrs. Brown, could you pick one obvious difference between your mother and yourself? Yes, I could. Over. Right. And what would it be? My mother is dead. <laughs> I am not. Over. No, Mrs. Brown, I'm looking for an opinion. In my opinion, my mother is dead. We fucking buried her. Three out of three. <laughs> Mrs. Brown, let me explain. I'm trying to compare things from your mother's time with your time. Mammy, uh, Thomas, what? Kathy. Please. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, Mrs. Brown, I want you to cast your mind back to your mother's day. Mother's day? Yes. <laughs> The 29th of March. What? That was Mother's Day. No, Mrs. Brown. Your Mother's Day. That, that was everybody's Mother's Day. <laughs> or did you not have a mother? Of course I had a mother. And did you love her? Of course I loved her. Then why didn't you remember on Mother's Day? <laughs> well, I did. She was always so busy. All those friends of hers. That social circle. She never had any time for me, you know. <laughs> me? A <Her> little boy. <laughs> Thomas, are you all right? Say, you fucking blind. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, dear. How unprofessional. No, not, not at all, son. These, these things, don't be worried. These things happen. You know, I'm not fucking doing anything, man. You know. <laughs> now, Mrs. Brown, where were we? You, you were saying that your mother didn't like you. <laughs> 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 So, how is he? I put him in a taxi. I can see the headlines in the morning. Taxi man buckling hands himself. <laughs> Mammy! 
He was very upset. Well, you can't blame him. It's hard enough driving a taxi around Dublin without picking up lunatics as well. <laughs> Not the taxi driver, Mammy. Thomas. Thomas was upset. Oh. Well, maybe he's not. Maybe he's relieved. Now that he said that, out, you know, now he realises that he's, you know, mad. <laughs> oh, Mummy, maybe you're right. Maybe he does feel better for getting that out. You can't move forward while you're looking backwards, love. You're right. I know it. Mummy, have you ever thought about becoming a counsellor? Oh, don't be ridiculous, Cathy. I'd never get elected. <laughs> No, Mammy, a counsellor. I mean, listening to people's problems and helping them find the answers. That's what a counsellor does. That's funny. That's what a mother does, too. <laughs> Except we don't get paid. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Mammy, did Mark talk to you about the home? <laughs> yes, he did. I'm sorry, Mammy. Are you upset? No, I'm fucking delighted. <laughs> what do you think? It is for the best. Oh. A true Brutus. That's right, stab me in the back, just like Brutus did to Popeye. <laughs> Mummy, it really is for the best. It's a lovely home. <laughs> It's clean, and there's lots of fields, and plenty of space to run around. Am I red rum all of a sudden? <laughs> Mammy, the people running this place are so dedicated. I don't care. They go around all day with smiles on their faces, picking up shit with their little scoops. <laughs> Upset. It is for the best. Now, good night. <laughs> Shit, scoopers! He's ready? Yeah, will you come on, Mark? I'm in here ages now. Shut up, Buster. He's ready? Yeah. yeah. Ready. <laughs> Ma, you're right. <laughs> What's the suitcase for? They're my curtains. I'll take them if I want them. <laughs> so, are you ready? Okay, let's go. Now! Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> this is it. This is the surprise. Yeah. Are you delighted? You've no idea how fucking delighted I am. <laughs> I thought you were going to put me in a home. A home? Yes. So why would we do that? It's in the script. <laughs> Ma, <laughs> we'd be all lost without you. I suppose. Oh, no, Mummy, you heard us talking about putting Spartacus in a home. Spartacus? Now, come on, Ma. They're all waiting down the Foley's for you. Let's get this party started. <laughs> oh, where the saints? Oh, when the saints go marching in. Go marching in. When the saints go marching in. I want to be in that number. Oh, when the saints... Say, oh, when they say, you're right, come on, you two. Oh, when they say, put your, come on, like yourself. Oh, when they say, <laughs> what is it? You know, I said we were talking about putting Spartacus in a home. Yes. Well, we can't. Why not? Ma, the vet said she was too sick to put her in a home. Well, then we get another vet. No, Ma. We had to have her put down. Damn it, the woman was only doing her job. <laughs> well, you can't go around whacking professionals because you disagree with their fucking diagnosis. I'm 
talking about the dog, ma. I know you were. I was just trying to make light of it. I remember the day your father brought her home. She was just a little puppy. He was drunk. <laughs> I went to give him a piece of my mind and he just stood there with that silly fucking grin on his face. And this little hairy thing in his hand. <laughs> and the dog running around the fucking place. I can't begin to tell you the, the marvellous summer evenings I had with Spartacus and walking along the canal, me and your father. Spartacus running ahead of us. My father stopping to talk to everyone. I sat on the bank. Just there with Spartacus. I sat there sucking a the fisherman's friend. It's nobody's fault. Mommy. Come on and we'll buy Martha! What? Sorry. <laughs> Don't be like that, Mommy. Come on. We'll buy you that drink. You go on, Dwight. I want to get me cigarettes. I'll follow you down. Okay. Uh, Dermot. Come here, son. <laughs> Come here. It was her decision, wasn't it? Bitch. <laughs> Dermot, son, I... I'm very sad. And you know what always cheers me up? When you do, I'm a little teapot. <laughs> Chicken. Uh -huh. Happy birthday to me. Frightened the shite out of me, didn't it? <laughs> uh -huh. Well, I won't be needing that anymore. Go easy, go easy, go easy, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Get down off the fucking chair! <laughs> Good luck, Spartacus. Say hello to the Queen of Dublin Town. As the best mama boss, she wears the crown. Mother hen watching all the chicks. Sassy old lady full of tricks. It's a safe bet she'd never let life get her down. She's Mrs. Brown. That's Mrs. Brown. Hey, <laughs>